a jungle friend to you and me. Oh, watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend and ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle friend to you and me. George of the jungle and his trusted friend, an ape named Ape, are on their way to an important jungle mission. What's the important mission this time, George? Saving baby crocodiles from being eaten? Wrestling mama crocodiles while we try to return their baby crocodiles? Nope. Something much, much, much more important. Fine soccer practice. And George, in that king of the jungle way, once again did that thing he does when calling to the animals of the jungle. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Oh, yeah. Uh, cover your ears. George, here's something. What is it, George? George is super jungle hearing. Here's Ursula sneezing. <laughs> oh, I don't feel good. Hey, no fair. I didn't feel good first. My head feels like it's gonna fall off. And my hair would not look good if my head fell off. Quiet, everybody! You're waking the evil spirit, and they're making Magnolia and Ursula sick. <laughs> There's no such thing as evil spirits. I have been working on a cure for the common cold that will make the girls better. And be very, very rich. Yeah, what do you mean, you've been working? These ancient remedies have been passed down by my ancestors. You Give me that, you overdressed baloney brain! This is my work. You want the size helpful? Give me mine! Oh, you throw the light? It's burnt! Uh, I'll have it! Come on! Give it! Put it! Uh, I... Uh. Look at me! Oh, no! My research! My ancestors! See what you did! I was going to cure Ursula and Magnolia! I was gonna cure Magnolia and Ursula! George, do something! Okay, uh... Ah. Get the book back! George knows. George will go get the book back. Oh, <laughs> right. Did you see that intro? Or I should say, hear that intro. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Was that Weird Al Yankovic, man? It kind of sounded like it. I couldn't quite do it, but uh, might be a little too early to try the, the uh, what do you call it when he yodels, basically. <laughs> Alright guys, you're watching Brothers Forge Gaming. You're hanging out here with me, Mr. C, and we're playing some George of the Jungle on PS2. Now guys, I believe this is a Crave software game, and you know what, they come up with some pretty cool games. If you ever see them out there, guys... Uh, you know, they're, they usually signify value, and most of their games are at least entertaining, to say the least. Yeah, okay, Crave Software. Now, I believe this is only a one-player game, so, you know, it's kind of like your one-player platformer. Uh, there's a bazillion different kinds of these games, but, you know, this one happens to be pretty fun because you're Georgia the Jungle. Uh, obviously, in these, some of these kind of, I don't know, smaller development team, lesser known publishers, you know, they have their share of, of similar issues where, you know, they might not be as, I don't know, reactive or whatever as you want, but this one actually does a pretty good job. Uh, I was having some issues with, with some of the controls early. Uh, once you kind of get used to what's going on, it's not so bad. It features your, your normal kind of thing. Double jump, you can push pull things, you've got vines, wall jump, you know, it's got every cool feature that you want in one of these kinds of games. It also has a collection, uh, collectionism feature, you know, if you want to get all the 100% level completion, getting all this stuff, it's got that for you too. Now, I was out there looking around for games and I saw this game and huh, actually right there that's a checkpoint so 
I was like, thought I could get it. I spent some time sitting there trying to get it. And uh, I don't know. I guess that's a checkpoint, guys. So if you're trying to think it's a coin or something. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was out there looking around, looking at some different games. There was a local store in town closing, uh, sadly, after 16 or so years of business, whatever it was. Uh, so, you know, sad to see that go, but actually got some pretty good deals out of that. So this was one of the games I was looking at, but I believe... I can't say it's more than, you know, maybe like a five, ten dollar game or something, but it's like you don't want to pay ten dollars for Georgia the Jungle on PS2. Although, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, it's worth it. But, you know, like I said, so the store was going out of business. I was able to get some good deals on a few things. Um, and this just happens to be one of those titles that probably most people are going to just look right past. And I don't know why, because Georgia the Jungle, everybody enjoys Georgia the Jungle. I mean, he's essentially Tarzan. Uh, and, you know, so you've got that going for him. It's just a fun game. It's not overly difficult. Uh, if you're out there looking for high res, all that stuff, you're not going to find it here. But you are going to find some entertaining story if you can get past some of the frustrating moments. And as you can see here, you've got basically ground and pound or whatever it is, ground butt stomp that Mario does. You know, so they're basically just taking cues from all the popular franchises out there and kind of adding their own element to it. And as I mentioned, the, you know, Crave Software actually does some really cool stuff. So if you guys are out there hunting around and you see any title by them, I would just recommend that you pick it up because uh, I can't think of all of them offhand, but usually when I pick up a title from them, I'm not disappointed. Um, you know, you're not blown away, but you're also, you're given a game that is... <laughs> You're given a game that, that's at the very least entertaining. So, as you can see here, it's kind of just a peaceful, serene game. There's nothing overly challenging. Most of this stuff you see me going after is kind of like an optional get. You don't have to go get all the different things that I'm getting. You can kind of go in a straightforward, linear path. Uh, or you can choose to look for all the secrets and all the hidden chambers and all the this and all the that. Uh, I haven't really seen a purpose of... I mean, I only played the first couple levels, but I haven't seen like... Uh, you know how a lot of these games, they, they feature parts of the map where you can't go... You know, you can't get there quite yet. You have to come back with a special power. Uh, I don't think this game is going to have that, but if it does... Uh oh Watch out! If it does, that would be kind of cool. Um, in a way, like, I like that in a game, but at the same time, unless you're uh, thinking ahead and you're writing down where to go back or, or taking a screenshot or whatever, um, or, you know, maybe you just don't have to, maybe you remember, you don't have to worry about that. But uh, a lot of times I tell myself I'm going to remember. Go back to the level one, two in the corner, body, and then you don't remember, you know. And then you're, like, running through the whole game looking for that one thing you forgot that you wanted to get. Anyway, I, I don't really see that so much in this game so far. Uh, that's not to say it's here. But it looks like, it, basically, you can just progress each level, get all the items that you want to get, and, you know, be done with it and move on. So, as far as replay value goes, I, I can't really see a whole tremendous amount of replay value. But for what it is, for what the price on this guy is, it's well worth picking up, guys. And, uh, you know, you're not going to you're not gonna be disappointed. If you like platformers, if you're, you know, somebody that, that doesn't... They likes to game. You, you you just you know you think about the gaming and you have fun there. Ooh, extra life! And um and as you can see, I, I like the graphics on here. They're not you know blowing the doors down, but they're they're very good if you ask me. So um, here we go. I believe this is coming up on a boss fight here. So let's uh let's see what goes on with that. There might be a slight dialogue here. George of the Jungle learns that the problem with fighting monkeys is that there's always one more monkey to fight after that. <laughs> oh, but George is so tired. George must still face off with Slappy, the superintendent of monkeys. Ooh, the superintendent? So anyhow, this, this part confused me, because I thought you could just go toe-to-toe -to -toe and smash face with this guy, but you kind of got to trick him out, and he has several phases, most of which are the same, but different, you know, he'll spawn some some enemies that come back out after you. Uh, I found this to be the most effective kind of run, run and, um, you know, double back with the double jump and dive attack. Seemed to be the most effective method. Uh, 
so far. Like I said, the move set isn't all that, you know, you don't have a ton of different moves to have to remember, so I can't imagine that these boss fights will be more, much more complicated. Maybe just more variants of, you know, kind of avoiding and getting in moves and shots where you can. Um, sometimes that can be frustrating where you don't have like a direct attack. Uh, luckily, it's not like a one-shot game. You do get to get hit multiple times. You get plenty of free guys throughout the level. I'm sure it's, you know, unlimited continues and whatnot.